Hey everybody, PB here again, third time this week. And I did not run this morning, too rainy, maybe this afternoon. Hope you're doing well. I uh, went back to the post-resurrection passages in the Gospels again today in this Easter season. And I landed back in John chapter 20. At the 21st verse, in one of the first appearances Jesus made to his disciples after his resurrection, he said to them, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so send I you. Think of that. The mission that God has for each and every one of us as Christ's followers. And then the 22nd verse says this. And with that, Jesus breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. Can you imagine Jesus uh, doing that? I think in anticipation of the day of Pentecost when the Spirit came like a mighty rushing wind. What Jesus calls us to, he equips and empowers us to do. Made me think of uh, a hymn that I love, Breathe on me, breath of God. Listen to the first and third verses. Breathe on me, breath of God. Fill me with life anew, that I may love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Breathe on me, breath of God, till I am wholly thine, until this earthly part of me glows with thy fire divine. May that be our prayer today. Hey, you might notice that every video that I've made has the same background. I've been in the same place every day this week at the same time of each day. I'm uh, one of those guys that likes order. I like uh, predictability. I like a plan. I make a list, uh, all of that kind of thing. But as a Christ follower, I've learned to embrace and expect change. And that's okay because the Christ I follow, the Jesus I follow, the God that I have seems to always be leading me forward, seems to be always shaking things up seems to be always doing something new. That's a good teaser for uh, my message this Sunday, whose title again is, Let's Not Get Back to Normal. Check out Isaiah 43, 18 and 19 and prep for that. And uh, hope you'll join us and invite a friend and hope you have a great day today. God bless.